Well, I'm very happy to welcome Marianne Sachs today. Uh, from, Marianne is from the Netherlands. And I'd love it, Marianne, if you would begin by saying, what are you doing these days? And um, what led you to what you're doing now? And then we'll go on and talk a little more about women's health. Uh-huh. Uh, well, what I'm doing these days is a mix. I'm a, a philanthropic advisor, so I advise people, but also foundations, how they strategically can use their money uh, in the, well, in yeah, changing the world and making the world a better place. And I also do some fundraising for some organizations that I, I find important, that fit my values. And uh, I work in a, in a number of organizations as an activist. And uh, I think my biggest passion, or passion, I don't know if that's the right word, the thing that makes me the most uh, that, that moves me the most is, uh, uh, is the situation of refugees and uh, in, I think in, in Europe at this moment the refugee issue, the migration issue is the biggest issue that uh, European countries are struggling with. Mm -hmm. um, in your work with refugees, are you focusing specifically on women? Um, well, yes and no. <laughs> I'm part of an organization called uh, Women Against Deportation, and uh, and it started about 15 years ago to make to make clear that when you talk about refugees, you talk about men and women, and that women do not have the same situation, and not also the same, uh, not the same things happen to them as with m male refugees, and to draw attention to the fact that women very often have to do with things that have to do with sexual violence that in war situations they are often raped or sexually harassed and, uh, and, and that it's a topic that they find very difficult to talk about. So that very often it does not come in, into the open because they are very shy to talk about it and can only talk about it in a, in a situation where they feel safe. Is your concern with um, refugees coming into Europe in general and where are they coming from? What are they? What are the countries? Many, be sp be yes. specific, I'd yeah, be really yeah. interested to know. Yeah, many refugees c come from Afghanistan, Iraq, uh, s at this moment Sudan, Somalia, uh, and in the past also Iran. Um, and uh, Ethiopia, Eritrea. And the refugees I have the most at this moment that I'm involved with the most come from Ethiopia, Eritrea, and Somalia. But they come from everywhere. And uh, they have a very hard time because actually Europe is trying to, or not trying, Europe is uh, shutting out, trying to keep everybody out. That's basically what's happening. So people who come and who ask for asylum, which is a right that also the Netherlands and many countries have signed that people who are in danger should have the right to come and get a safe haven. Uh, they are actually addressed as if they're lying all the time, as if they're making up their stories, we don't believe you. And so in the interviews that they have with the immigration uh, uh, service, uh, they are usually treated very, very badly as, as, yeah, as liars. And it means that there is a very humiliating kind of atmosphere for people who are who have very often gone through terrible things. First, why they fled, and then during their uh, their journey to a safe place, they've also had hardships and, and well, terrible things happening. And then they finally come where they think that they will be safe, and then they're treated as shit. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's 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 something that that's. I find very difficult to, to live with, and I think we should also, as citizens, open our mouth and protest against that and try to change it. I think there are lots of people who at this moment are uh, aware that there is something really terrible happening with the migration issue and with refugees. Um, I don't think that many people at this moment in a country like the Netherlands speak up. Um, activism is not very, people are not very active, people are rather, passive or they'll maybe uh, sign a petition on the internet but that's about it. But there is, I think, especially the young people are getting more and more active. With the group of refugees that I'm, I'm involved with, there is a lot of solidarity in because they're, 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 it's a group of people, I have to explain this a little bit, 
um, who have uh, gone through the whole procedure of trying to get asylum, who have been denied that asylum and who uh, cannot go back. Most of the time they have no papers and uh, because most people come when they flee they very often don't have time to get papers and most people in the world don't have identity papers. I think three quarter of the world population does not have their own passport. And so they, don't, they come with, a, with an agent or with a smuggler. They pay and they get the, with false papers. The, the agent looks at you and says, well, I have here these two passports. This one looks a little bit like you. They don't see the difference anyway with all these black faces. So this one will be fine. And then they come and, for example, the women very often come as, as wife of the smuggler. And then when they are in Holland, then the, they go, well, they, they're in and then they uh, go with the smuggler to a supermarket or to a station and then the man says, well, I'll be back, I'll just sit down, and then he just disappears and then they're left without papers and uh, without papers you cannot get asylum mm -hmm. and, and the thing is that the people, the, the immigration policy is very strict about that, that they actually don't listen very much what story you have to tell, they just think very bureaucratically, oh, you have no papers. Mm -hmm. Well, no. Uh, so these people are denied their assignment, but they cannot go back because without papers you cannot go back, for example, to Eritrea or to Ethiopia. And, uh, or in Eritrea, if you do, you're being uh, incarcerated right away, and if not worse. And um, because they, they think that people who fled are traitors and uh, should be punished. Ethiopia does not let people in. And, and so they're, they can't go back, and then what? They, they're, they're, they're left in the street. What kind of numbers are we talking about? What, yeah. Well, we don't know because they're illegal, and yeah. illegal people are very difficult to count. And uh, uh, we think we, we're talking now in, in only Holland. We're talking uh, Holland has a very reduced amount of uh, refugees because we have such strict asylum policies that only about ten thousand per year are now at this moment, these last years, asking asylum. So we're actually talking about hardly any. It's just numbers that, that are ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And I think altogether there there are estimates about about a hundred thousand people maybe altogether who are now without papers and uh, yeah who don't know where to go. As you think of uh, students around the world who may be watching this and and taking this course on international women's health and human rights, what general advice do you have for them? Well, I think what I, I see around me that many young people are very active and very concerned about what's happening in the world. And I think for me, the most important thing is for everybody is that you open your mouth for when you see injustice, at least open your mouth and, and protest and do something against it or try to and do that together. You cannot do it by yourself. It's a collective activity. And it's also, I have to say, it's very much fun to be an activist. <laughs> There's always a lot happening and you make good friends and you do things together and you build on, some, on a positive thing, you build on another world. So it's, uh, it's always been a, a big pleasure to be an activist. Yeah. And Even it, though there are of course also things happening that are not so much fun and there's also discussion and sometimes fighting, but it's basically a, a fun life. Okay. It reinforces our sense of hope, I think, for a positive future. Thanks so much.